Welcome to Kendra's Artistic Crochet Designs. And uh, so we are at June calendar blanket. And that is what today is. Okay, um, we are going to, as you see, we did this and we put the, the tulips in. We are going to um, use the bushy stitch, which comes from um, my 1987 um, leaflet of 63 easy to crochet pattern stitches combined to make an heirloom afghan. So I'm going to use that stitch, it's called the bushy stitch, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Um, and here we go. I've got my green yarn connected. I am using Varsity Green from Big Twist. Big Twist, 100% acrylic Varsity Green. That is what I'm using. My J-hook still. All right, I'm going to chain three from here. I've got it, everything is connected. And I'm going to put a double crochet in with that chain three in that corner. That's half my corner as I we normally do. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to skip the next two stitches. So here's one, two, and in that third stitch, we're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and a single crochet all in that one stitch looks like that all right gonna skip the next two stitches one two put two double crochet and then third stitch across chain two and single crochet in there all right we're gonna skip the next two one two and we're gonna put two double crochets chain two and a single crochet and then skip the next two so every third stitch you're doing this two double crochets chain two and a single crochet and that same said it kind of looks like little bushes sort of they're calling it the bushy stitch <laughs> so all right so we are going to do that all the way across here skipping the next two and in the third we're going to dub two double crochet, chain two, single crochet. It's pretty easy stitch. Every third stitch. Two double crochets, chain two, and a single crochet. And keep on going all the way across. All right, so I'm just go, I'm going to keep on going like that all the way across, and I'm going to meet you over at the other corner. So I will be back, okay? Okay. <clears throat> I have a little ways to go here till we get to the corner, and I want to show you what to do next once we get to the corner. So we're skipping two in the third one, two double crochet, chain two, single crochet. All right, skip two. I'm almost there. All right, so however this ends up, 
this ends up where there are uh, we we have this one stitch left before the corner and we are just going to skip it I'm just going to skip it because we skipped two it is it'll be okay so what we're going to do um, we should have had two stitches before we started this corner but it's okay just skip the one stitch do your corner two two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in that corner and then resume you're skipping two stitches and in the next stitch two double crochets chain two and a single crochet in there and then you just keep going around like that so we're going to make it or break it it doesn't matter whether there's one stitch or two stitches or three if you have three stitches just skip them it's okay it'll be all right so just continue all the way around doing the bushy stitch um just like that all the way around your blanket and um then we will be back for uh row two I will show you what to do with row two. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, so that ends round one of the bushy stitch. So we're right here at the end. And now, in order to do round two, we're going to have to turn the whole thing. So... The back will be facing you when we do this round. So the whole thing gets turned so that the back is facing you. We're going to chain three and in this corner we're going to put another double crochet in there. That'll be half the corner made. All right. And then you're going to go to the first chain two space, which is right here. And I'm going to put two double crochets in there. Chain two and put a single crochet in there. So we're going to go to all the chain two split spaces this time. And we are going to put two double crochets, chain two, and single crochet and those chain two spaces so it's two double crochets chain two and single crochet in all the chain two spaces And you just keep going all the way around there. Your corners. Okay, chain two. And then um, we'll do one right here at the end when you get to this corner. I'll tell you what. Um, we'll just continue going until we get to the corner. And I will meet you there at the corner of, of row two. Be right back. Okay, so we're at the other corner of row two. Went through down the, the side. I've got a couple more places to put some stitches in here. Um, or one more here in this chain two space. And then what we're going to do is we have four stitches left right here. So we're going to skip two. And then we're going to make another bushy stitch right here. And the third one. And skip that last one and just put the corner in, which is um, two, 
double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corner. And then after that corner, um, we should, just like we did, go to the chain two space. and put your bushy stitch in there. So so we'll go all the way around like that. Round three, row, yeah, round three, you will turn so that the front of it is facing you. So we will turn it every time, every round. Say pumpkin, say hi pumpkin. Say hi pumpkin. There's my little pumpkin. So you'll be turning it every time you're done with a round. All the way around it. Um, you'll be turning it. So, um, and I I am going to suggest that you go, to you guys that you watch the video completely through. I'm going to say that we're probably going to need six rows of this. So, um, but... You know, I'm going to do six rows and I'm going to look and see if that's what I want. Um, because I am doing this on the fly. And um, I think that before you start putting six rows in, like I'm just saying, and I may have to change it, um, I would watch the video completely through before you actually do it. That way you'll know what you're doing. So, at that... I'm going to let you guys go to do six rows and just make sure that every row you're turning the whole afghan. So, like row two, we're going to look at the back. Row three, we're looking at the front. Row four, we're looking at the back. And row five, we're looking at the front. And row six, we'll be looking at the back. Okay, so... I hope that helps. All right. Um, so we'll see you um, when we get to that point. We'll be back. Okay. Welcome back. So I was right. Six rows of this. Um, this is very, very pretty. Love the way that came out. That is so pretty. Anyway... I'm happy with it. So now I have attached my white yarn and I'm going to show you how to do your round of white. Um, so we're going to do, I chain three with the white and I put another ha a double crochet in that corner. Okay, so you're going to go to the stitches and we're just going to put one double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, then you should have a single crochet put a double crochet in there and then we're going to put a double crochet in the chain two let's see how this works let's do two double crochets in that chain two and then we're going to do a double crochet look who, who decided to join us pumpkin what are you doing you coming up to play with my yarn huh all right, let me see if that will. Okay, so we are putting a double crochet in each of the stitches. And so there should be, after the chain two, there should be two double crochets and a single crochet to put a double crochet in. Then when you get to a chain two, we're going to put two double crochet in there. Okay, now we're going back. There should be one double crochet in each of the stitches until we get to that chain two. And we're going to put two double crochet in there.
I'm wondering if that's too many though. Um, I want to. Let's just put one double crochet in the chain two space and in every chain stitch across. Um, because, yeah, one double crochet. I don't want to add too many stitches. Yeah, that's better to do it that way. I think that's better. Okay, so again, <laughs> we're designing on the fly. Um, sorry about that. So we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch across and one double crochet in the chain two space. And when you get to the corner, we are putting two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the corner. I'll do a few of these and see how this looks. Yeah. I think that'll look okay. Okay, so this I was planning on doing daisy appliques or roses for this, for the appliques. And I was go I'm just going to get on the internet and um, figure out what I'm going to make a few flowers and figure out what I want on here. So that will be your homework if you want your appliques. Just go on YouTube and um, all you got to do is put flower appliques, crochet flower appliques in there and it'll bring up a whole bunch. And so I'm going to let you guys do that if you want appliques on yours. And that's what I'm going to end up doing too. So this will end this project for this month and I will see you next month for the next time for our July <laughs> okay have a great day and bye bye now <laughs>